All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and in today's news story, we're going to be talking about your Iron Banner tokens. This is Iron Banner week, and Bungie has now recommended that you turn them in immediately, okay? So let's go ahead and look at this tweet here from Community Manager DMG. His tweet says, highly recommend you turn in Iron Banner tokens as you get them. If you want to wait until last minute of the final Iron Banner week, feel free. If you don't spend them or redeem bounties by the end of the season, they will be lost. More in future TWAB, but want to give you appropriate time to all. So they've given us plenty of heads up that these are going to be going away. So you're going to want to turn these all in. You can do it as you go each Iron Banner week. Or if you want to be crazy, you can try to save them for the last week. But if some disaster happens and Iron Banner gets canceled or something, that would be terrible. But overall, I would recommend turning them all in. So that's what I'm going to be doing in today's video. I'll be turning mine in right now. And we'll see if we can't snag a couple god rolls. The most interesting god roll to me is that Forge's Pledge. I'm also going to turn in my bounties here. See what we get from these bad boys. We got... Um, this is a, it's actually a good roll of that snore, but uh, we got a Tunnel Vision and Demolitionist on that. And we got the uh, Razor's Edge. And we got the little red box around that. Not the god roll of that. And not the god roll of the Peace Bond. I made an entire video talking about the god rolls of these. So make sure to go watch that if you haven't yet. We'll go ahead and turn in all the rest of these tokens. See what we get. We got occluded finality. So what we get on this bad boy. We got no distractions opening shot. Close, but no cigar. We want snapshot opening shot for that bad boy. Got the cloak. What's up next? Got the boots. The Iron Banner armor, I do believe, drops pretty high stats. So I will keep some of this and actually use it for certain builds. Um... But overall, I'm looking for some weapons. The Razor's Edge drops. We got Tireless and Counter-Attack. Unfortunate. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure the best roll for the Razor's Edge is an Ad Clear roll, but we'll definitely look into that. But we got a Finite Impactor. It's got the new perk on it with Stats for All and Iron Reach. Unfortunately, uh, still not the best. There's some serious better hand cannons out there, especially that Cantata. You can get crazy perks on it. And uh, definitely much nicer. Got a class item. Another finite impactor. Can you just give me the pulse? Killing wind. Focus fury on that one. Not it, chief. Next up. We've got the gauntlets. We've got the Rizwalker. Oof. I do actually want the best roll of this one. This is definitely not it, though. Definitely not it. Vorpal. Not bad for shutting down supers in PvP, but that's not the primary objective. Oh, there it is. A Forge's Pledge. Please. Please. No, I want heating up and rampage is what I want. This is going to be a really nasty roll in terms of stability, though. Holy crap. Zen Moment. A Rock of Void subclass. Arrowhead Break. Handling. That's actually going to be pretty good. I'll probably take that out for a spin in PvP just because. But that's not the roll I'm looking for, though. Finite Impactor, do, do, do. we got Compulsive Reloader and Iron Grip. Rip. On to the next one. Got the chest piece. We got the Frontiers Cry with the red box around it. What role? We got Rapid Hit Adagio. Okay. I saw a little video from Azdacross saying that this is a really good role. So, you know, I'll hang on to it. Give it a try, you know. Try to keep an open mind out there. I don't think those 180s are going to be any good, but... Occasionally, you see some content and some people say give, try to give you an idea and keep open-minded, so I will give it a try. We got a helmet. We got a class item. We got a peace bond. Maybe max range peace bond? Maybe? No. No, no, no. Not even close. No bueno. Let's see what we get here. We got one more package to turn in. This is the very last one. It's a helmet. Unfortunate. Let's see what the stat rolls are of these, though. We got 63, 62, 60, 66 stat roll gauntlets. That's actually crazy. 63, 63. These, these, the armor pieces from Iron Banner are really good. They're high stat rolls, so definitely worth. Um, in terms of weaponry, I didn't really get anything too crazy. I think the best roll weapon I did get was the Frontier's Cry. Um, but I will also take this Forge's Pledge out for a spin because I want to try it out. The new one and that's going to be wrap on this video make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed smash the like button i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching later